So I finally did it. I went out and bought the pens that all the pros are using and that is what we are going to be using here today in this video. Obviously, let's go. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm looking forward to using these pens more than anything else because these have been used by everyone. Now I have used paint markers in the past. I used to do a lot of custom stuff. A lot of custom stuff. And I never got a chance to use Posca ones. So Posca ones are here. As I was saying, these are designed to just be pens. The only caveat being that they are paint markers. They're not alcohol markers or water-based markers. They, got, they kind of are water I mean, they're acrylic, so they... Yeah, going to open one. I'm going to wish I could open one. Should have probably bought a knife before I... Ooh. Nope, they don't work. <sighs> I need a knife. Do -do -do. I need to find a knife. Do -do -do. Uh -huh. Okay, so here is the Uni Posca marker, and yeah, this is actually really nice. On the side of it, you have what color you've got. We got a light orange. You got an instructional guide on how to use them and the size. That's about it. Popping the top off. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. You get yourself this white nib. Now, the reason this nib is white is because it has not been activated just yet. Now, this is a safety feature of all paint pens, so we have to get it going. Three, two, one. Actually, I'm going to change the color so you can see it just a little bit better. Yeah. So as you can see right here, we've got no color to this nib. It is completely white. And what you gotta do right here is crack it. So you push down very gently and it pops. And there goes the ink flow. Now some of these pens you have to jab a couple of times just to get the ink flow working. But, oh gosh. But once you do, ooh, looks like a treat. You can also end up getting way too much ink flow if you press this too much. For example, you can do that. And so with a few of these pens clicked and ready to go, I'm gonna do a couple of scribbles and just see how they feel and perhaps see if we can actually blend using them. So I'm going to start with a red. Whew. All right, I can already see large areas are gonna be an absolute nightmare to do. Now I should mention that I am using paper today. It's a very thick paper, but it is paper nonetheless. It is not specific for these markers, which are actually universal. You can use them on multiple surfaces, which maybe we'll do later. I, I, I don't know. So I'm actually gonna do a few um, different pieces today, starting with some white paper and then moving on to some black, black paper. This paper is super dark, as you can see. Very dark. And the reason I want to do this is I want to see the contrast between a white surface and a black surface using these paint pens. <laughs> this is like a um a bit of card. I think this is designed for painting and it's it's got like a it's, it's a gold rim. So the first painting I'll be doing today out of the three I'll be doing. So again, stay, because there's more to come. I'm gonna be doing Bob. Um you don't know who Bob is? Get to know Bob because he is a legend over here, and I'm gonna draw him. I haven't even started yet and there's dust falling all over this. What is wrong with my hygiene? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of started this one thinking to myself, oh, I'm gonna be like super symmetrical, but I think I'm just gonna pass on that because that's more effort. Should I even keep that in the video? Like, just admitting I'm lazy. Meh, it's relatable. To the very next day. It's really not supposed to look this evil. So I think we're gonna color him first and then do the outlines. I just gotta find myself some uh -huh. greens. Do we have any greens? This isn't really full out, is it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yellow. Don't really have anything for a shadow. Maybe the brown. Do we need this much plastic? How many pens are in here? 32. There's 32 pens in this collection and each one of them is wrapped. That's... Wow. There's got to be an easier way than this. Okay. 
probably not the best paper to have started with because it's it's falling apart. You just damaging the paper. Just look at the damage I'm doing right here. I mean, it's not my fault. Paper's fault. Should have been better. I mean, looking on the bright side of things, it sort of looks like feathers. So, gotta have some kind of silver lining. I don't know how I'm gonna do the big area. Gonna take a long time. What are you? Yeah. Uh, this is so painful. Look at it! What? Look at this! It's like a freaking caterpillar just hanging off the end of my- Go away! No! Ah! It went everywhere. Ah. You know, the sad part is these are actually really good pens. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh. I've been at this for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes of scribbling. If you work like really super slow, it's really easy and good. It absolutely blows my mind that after all these years of being an artist, I still have not learned to start on the left hand side and go to the right hand side. I wouldn't have this, this problem. Yeah. yeah. Jacking up my arm trying to do this. You know what? Actually doesn't look too bad right now, if I'm honest. I'm actually super excited to outline this. I think the outlines are gonna make this look really good. It's a very satisfying noise, huh? <laughs> it's ridiculously shiny. Um, <laughs> whoops. I mean, like, just kind of blend into it. Kind of worked. This is not gonna work. Uh oh. Yeah, this sucks. Ah. Oh. Doing the line work actually isn't all that bad. It feels quite good. It's quite manageable. All right, there it is. The, it's all right. Nah, it doesn't actually look too bad. Despite the damage we've got here, we've got some good coverage. And uh, I mean, it was the first attempt on paper that is clearly not designed for these pens. Very, very clearly. Ugh. But anyway, enough of this one. It's time to move on to using some black paper and hopefully getting some better results. Hang on a minute, so I've just discovered a little secret to opening these up, which is going to make it a little bit easier than it has been so far. Yeah, that, that, that was, that was much easier. <laughs> What a lovely little setup. So for our second drawing today, I'm gonna to be doing Deadpool, one of my favorite characters of all time. And I found this image that came from a magazine I had just laying around. It's a really cute, quirky image. And I'm actually doing this one specifically for the thumbnail. So that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> so let's begin sketching him off to the side here. And I'm gonna keep the white paper in the background over here for contrast on this paper. So you can just see just how dark this paper is. And as we go, you can just see how they look. I always get super nervous drawing on black paper because it's kind of a one take deal. If I make a mistake, it's over. It's actually why I'm using a reference here today because I don't really have the confidence to jump into you know, doing a drawing onto this paper, given that it's only a one take type thing. So having the reference is more of a safety net for me. Not gonna lie, it feels like super sweet drawing on black paper. I really do love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'll be honest, I'm kind of feeling to just make a couple of changes here. So I'm gonna make a couple of changes and remove a couple of things just to make it easier when I paint it. Um, yeah, I, I don't intend to make this a super serious piece. So I'm gonna make my life a little bit easier. Okay, ready to color. 
So the base is similar to the reference, but obviously I made those minor changes just because I just wanted to. I wanted to make it somewhat different. Ho ho ho! Hold on. That is vibrant. What? I think I just found a new satisfying thing. This is... <laughs> now again, I think I've already gone too large with this area because this is... I, it will be a nightmare to color this. Uh, the ink flow is very slow on these pens, and if you try to go any faster than this, um, I reckon you will damage the paper, but this is holding up way better than the previous paper. So as it stands right now, I'm pretty certain I am gonna need to do a double layer. Uh, it's definitely not getting the coverage I want, but again, I think that's just down to the surface. I'm not too sure, but we'll see what it looks like when I double layer. We've just gone from this to this, and the difference is absolutely insane. <laughs> It's already dry. It's been 45 seconds and it's already dry. That's pretty impressive. Okay, it's certainly looking a lot better with a double layer, but I am, I can feel it. I can feel the paper is damp. So I think maybe I should wait a little bit longer for this double layer. He says as he continues. It's crazy, like the difference using these right now is so night and day. I went from super frustrated and getting angry to just enjoying this. This is so much nicer. One of my favorite things about doing comic book artwork is while I do have a reference present as well, um, I feel like you could just put lines anywhere and it makes sense. It just kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you put them. It's just whatever. I hope I don't use up all the ink before I get onto the last one. If you made it this far, I've got one question for you, and that is, what is your favorite Deadpool moment of all time? That can be from the comics or the movies. I'm very curious to know what it is that you like about the character. So this is looking really good so far. I don't know if I've said that already, but I like it, so yeah. It's a really nice gray. This one feels like it has a much higher ink flow than the red. Like, I'm not really getting much of an issue with this one. There is something so satisfying about putting these colors next to each other. You can overlay super easily. You don't get any sort of bleeding or blending. You can just put the colors on top and it's just perfect. I'm definitely struggling a little bit with this red. Hey! Hey! Ah! I don't really have much to complain about right now. This is looking really nice and these pens are actually very enjoyable to use on this paper. So I think I might just do the comic style. That is Deadpool. Wow, it is really coming together right now. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm starting to get a little bit more confident with these pens. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that vibe, I'm feeling it. I can really, this is cool. This is cool. Still a little bit nervous about doing these outlines though. Okay, so here it is, and this looks great. I mean, this is a very fast piece. I only did this one in about 45 minutes. It's very quick for what it is, and I'm just... Wow, these pens are amazing. I mean, taking a look at them side by side of the first one on the white paper and the second one on the black paper, I, look at the, it looks beautiful. It stands out, it pops. I love the black background. This paper was just horrendous and ripped to pieces. This one, well, have a look. It's really, really nice. It's smooth. We've got great coverage. There are some areas that are a little bit streaky, but overall, I mean, if you took your time with this, a little bit more time than I did, you'd probably end up with some really, really great results. Right now, so far, I went from absolutely hating using these to absolutely... That was cool. To absolutely loving them. Uh, <laughs> but there's more. These pens are not designed for paper. They're designed for multiple surfaces and I am gonna show you something a little special right now. Oh yes, a PlayStation. Now, while I am in the process of waiting for my PlayStation 5 to arrive, I figured let's color our PlayStation Pro. This one is actually going to my wife after this, and I asked her what would she like me to do, and she said, 
Kakashi. A bit of a no-brainer, really. He is a fantastic character, and if you watch Naruto, the series Naruto, this is a character from that series, and he's a fan favorite. An absolutely fantastic character, great comedy relief, and just great. He's Kakashi. And I must say, when I started this one, I was actually filled with a lot of confidence coming off the back of doing those other two tests. I felt a little bit more comfortable here, and with the texture of the PlayStation, which I've never really noticed before, but it is highly textured, it was actually really, really easy to draw on. But of course, we weren't here for the drawing, we were here for the painting. So as I moved onto the painting, immediately it felt so much different. As you can see, this surface is a lot bigger than the other two we did, and I thought that was going to be a major problem, but it really wasn't. Yeah, sure, it took a little bit longer to fill those spaces, but the coverage was just so much better. I mean, the blue, for example, there was almost zero streakiness at the beginning. I should say that now because when it dried, there was a little bit, but it wasn't so bad. Unfortunately, you do not get a wide variety of colors within these sets, and yes, you can mix the paints, but I wasn't really feeling that I should risk it on a PlayStation, so I didn't really mix too much, except for in the face, I did actually mix these shadows. But other than that, I was just doing basic coloring styles. I'm telling you, I should do this for a living because I absolutely love just, this is incredible. This is so great customizing this. It's a lovely surface to work on, and these pens make painting easily. It easily? Easier. That's actually a point I haven't mentioned throughout the entirety of this video, and that is the ease of using these for anyone who's not comfortable with painting. Now, being someone who used to paint for many, many years, I still believe that painting is superior to this. You get better results, it looks better, and you can just do much more with traditional methods of painting. But these are the sort of bridge between using paints and using markers. For those of you who aren't confident enough with a brush, this is a great tool for you, but it's also very different. It isn't something that can replace a brush by any means, but it does have its advantages over paintbrushes, and that is just how easy it is to use on surfaces like this. I mean, if I was to use a brush on this surface, it would take me so long to get the layering to make it smooth, whereas with these, it's just a quick couple of strokes and ba-boom, it's done. I gotta say, this is absolutely amazing. I am in love with this piece. The colors are vibrant, the depth, it just stands out so much from the surface and I really am happy with this. Now I'm probably going to do more of this off camera, I just run out of time today, but I'll probably do more of this and present it to my wife as a gift. But as it stands right now, even with just the characters standing there, this is easily the best results we've gotten today. So let's take a look at those first results while we're here, looking at number one. Um... Yeah, this one was a very difficult thing to do, and okay, yeah, I did use the wrong paper for this. I wasn't actually aware of that at the start, but I was promised, you know, all surfaces, and all surfaces it did not deliver on. I don't want to be too harsh critiquing the use of a paint pen on a sheet of paper because that's not really fair and it's not what they're designed for, so yeah, probably don't do it on paper. But as we look at Deadpool, now this was done on paper, but it was extremely thick paper, pretty much card at this point. They performed absolutely incredible. It was fantastic to use them. It was a little bit difficult to get some of the coverage now and then, but really this was such a treat. And on the black paper, I, it just stands out. It looks absolutely phenomenal. I am so happy with the results of this one, and I would love the opportunity to do some more paintings, drawings, whatever you want to call this on black paper in the future. But the best one today is obviously the PlayStation. The results here are just, they, they speak for themselves. It looks fantastic. The coverage is awesome. That is all I've got time for today. I look forward to seeing all of you again in the next video. Sorry my face was not on camera today, but I just had a bad hair day, so I figured I'm gonna stay off camera. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye.